Hello, my name is Rosaria Gracia and I'm here once again to do some exercises with you to work with your strength and flexibility and also do a little bit of dancing afterwards. As usual, um, when you are, we are doing the exercises, ensure that whatever you're wearing is comfortable, that it's not constraining, the footwear that you're using is nice and secure. I'm using today's stool, which is something that you may have in your kitchens or somewhere. If you want to use a sturdy um, chair, please do, because you need to be secure. You don't want to feel that you are wobbling or anything like that. Um, the reason why I'm using this stool today is so that you can see the movement. And it may be that in some cases you prefer to swap. But the most important thing is that you're safe. So do it in a, in, in a seat that makes you feel comfortable and secure so you can focus on your body. OK, um, the other thing is just have some water or have, you know, tea or something, obviously far away. So there are no spillages um, so you can keep drinking. Water is essential. Tea is nice, <laughs> but water is essential. So please drink as much water as you can. And um, here we go. We are going to start. So the first thing is just really we are just going to brush yeah, our hands like that. Just give a little bit of heat. It's a nice thing to do. And then just do as if you are putting cream on. Just really massaging around, making circles. And what we are going to be doing now is gently pulling one finger at a time. So particular people that have arthritis, um, osteoporosis, just really be gently pulling your fingers. Just it's like massaging each finger at the time. Great. We are going to have our hands together and we are going to make circles. Now, this one can be a bit tricky. But just really try to make circles, which is really good for the wrists. And then the other way and breathe in always 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 okay and now what we are going to do is massage give a little bit of heat here in the elbow and the other one on the back it's a little bit like dry wash now what we are going to do is from the wrist going all the way towards the arm and this is good as a massage to support the lymphatic system. So just really do it a few times. Nice and sturdy. You don't need to be really hard on the arm at all. Just always going towards the heart. Then we are going to put our hands into knuckles and we are just going to massage the chest. Just nice circles. If you want to, you can just brush it. That's completely fine. And then the sternum. Here, you can just massage it or you can tap it. Tapping is, it has a nice feeling. So you can tap. Great. And now massaging just the sides. Again, like if you are having a dry wash to the back so important when we are cold as well to have the lower back nice and warm so you can tap it very 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 gently or brush it the kidney area is really sensitive so just really give a little bit of heat and now with our knuckles again fist just tap the glutes there can be lots of tension in there that can affect the lower back so if you have lower back issues, sometimes it's nice to just tap the glutes to leave that muscle a little bit more um, supple and soft. And then you can do the same thing with the sides of the legs. Gently, by the sides of the legs, it can be a bit tender. So just see how you feel. And the same here in the adductors as well, stimulating the circulation and knees rubbing the knees at the front and the calves and if you can at the feet and one of the things that we are going to do now is making like a figure of eight 
starting from the feet, going all the way up. So here we go. Be nice in your chairs, sitting on your sitting bones, and just go as further down as you can in a secure yet kind of working with your body. And we are just going around, figure of eight, coming up to the knees, coming up to your legs, coming up to the center of the body, coming up around your face, and then at the top. So very nice and gentle. So be mindful of your shoulders too. And now a big opening. And here we go. The first thing that we're going to do is a little bit of marching to get the whole body going. So just lifting gently one leg at a time and swaying with the opposite arm. So here we go. That. Now we are going to make it a little bit more challenging, perhaps. We'll see. We stop and we are lifting the same arm and the same leg. So it's a little bit like a puppet. And lifting. It doesn't need to be very high. It's about the coordination of the arms and the legs. Good. And now we are going to do the opposite. So reaching up one leg, opposite arm. And you can tap or you can just leave it up. And a few more to get our brain going as well. And center. Lovely. Now we are going to have our hands in our shoulders. So reach down on the shoulders, lift up. It's like if you're trying to make your neck even longer. And now what we are going to do is lifting one side of the body and making a figure of eight. So we are just making a little bit of a spiral here, making a space between the lower part and the upper part of the body. That's it. And now we go to the center and think about which arm is at the top and swap. And now we go again. Up. Lovely. It has a really nice feeling at the, at the back. Great. So we are going to continue creating more space between the upper part and the lower part of the body. So we are going to put our hands on our shoulders. And what we are doing is we are putting the elbows as close to each other as possible. Lift them up and open. When you take them to the sides, try to bring them back. So it's like if you have a big sponge in your back and you're trying to squash it. And always breathe in. Breathing in, breathing in, one more. You may feel a little bit of crackling around your shoulders. That's good, unless it's, it's painful and you know that you have a condition. So then obviously doing it with caution. Now we are going squashing the sponge at the back and bringing the elbows to the center and just let the body do what the body needs to do. If the body needs to go a little bit more in a curl here, please respond to that. And let's do a couple more. And relax in your head. And hands down. You may want to just make a little bit of a circle of the shoulders here. Maybe a bit tense at times. Great. And now what we are going to do is holding on to the forearm. Okay, so the shoulders down. And we are just going to go from to one side. 
really getting into this spiral of the body. So you may feel it in the lower back. That's all right. Ensure that the knees are not rolling. So they are nicely unsupported on the ground. A few more. You can swap the hands. So then that keeps our brain working too and the symmetry of the body. And center. One of the things that we are going to be doing here, and I'm going to give you my profile so you can see where I'm going. So you put one arm straight. The other one is at the same level. And then you're just going to follow the line of the arm and reach back with the elbow, the chest up. And then we go to the other side. It's a little bit like if you are doing um, an arrow and back. Bit of archery, it's not a bad thing in a safe environment. And side, and side, side, side. And the last one. Great, and relax. We are going to do now a little bit of swimming. So from archery, we go to swimming. So putting the arms straight, and it's a little bit like crawl, um, sorry, breaststroke, but we are reaching up with the body. So reaching up and release and up and take your elbows back and up. We wouldn't go anywhere in the swimming pool doing this, but we can imagine the shape and back, up and back. and back and relax the head up and back and now we are going to do a little bit of crawl now this crawl is a bit special as well so we have one arm straight and then with this other arm you're taking it down reach up the chest and open your armpit here that is the motion so we can really uh, stretch the sides of the body or the legs the latissimus dorsi and open to the side and open always make the movement start from the torso from the body not the arms reaching up with the body open the armpit and then the arm follows reaching up with the body open the armpit and follow last two and over and over and relax we are going to try something else today so what we are going to do is put in the hands in the center take them back as much as you can that's why being in a store is useful but you could do it by the sides of your chair and then coming back down and open up your arms. Again, take it to the point that is appropriate for you. So if it hurts, don't do it. Perhaps make the movement smaller. So it could be here. And if you have a particular condition where movements like this haven't been suggested, then please don't do it either. But if you can, if you feel that your muscles are working and it's not a pain, then have a go. Okay, always coming from the center. So here we go. Let's do it a couple more times. And reaching up. And reaching up. Always working in opposition. And center. Lovely. Okay, so what we are going to be doing now is a little bit of the legs. Okay, so the first thing is we are going to stretch one leg and that foot is going to be in flex. So the heel is going to be on the ground. This hand is going to be on the thigh. And what we are doing is we are reaching through the center. Now it's really important when you're doing this exercise that you keep reaching with the leg. 
that is not digging in on the floor and then bouncing. Keep reaching. So it will give a nicer stretch in the lower back. Okay? So here we go. Reach out with the body as usual and reach with the leg. And then come back. The other leg. And then come back. You should feel a really nice feeling in the hamstring. And back. Although nice is used in a very loose way. You know, <laughs> you may feel that the muscle is working, but it's a good feeling. And now we are putting the foot on the floor. So you are stretching the front of the leg. Coming back. Coming back, two more. Coming back. Coming back. Lovely. Few more exercises. So this one is very much working with the knee. So we are going to start warming up the knee, making nice circles. So touch the floor and make a circle the ground so you really should feel the knee doing the work as well and the other direction great now we swap let's do the other leg and reverse nice now we are going to make a kind of um, square. So we go forward with the leg, then we take it as further to the side as we can, bringing it back and center. Forward, side, back, center. Forward, side, back, center. Change, forward, side, back, center, forward side back center last one forward side back center now we are going to reverse it so we go from the position of sitting 90 degrees we go side forward center back side forward center back side forward center back, side, forward, center, and change, and side, forward, center, back, side, forward, center, back, side, forward, center, back, last one, side, forward, center, back, great. Now we are going to make a really nice big circle, but when we are going to the side, we are going to turn out. You should feel it in your hip and you can just use the floor or you can lift the leg from the floor. If you lift the leg, ensure that your knee is no higher than your hip. It's like if you are massaging the leg in the socket. And around, and around, change. And now we are going to reverse it. So we go from the turn out, reach, turn out, reach, turn out, reach, turn out, reach and change, turn out, reach, turn out, reach, turn out, reach, turn out, reach, and change. And a little bit of just tapping on the floor like the seagulls. And what we are going to do now for, to finish up with the exercises, we are just going down and then reaching up, really stretching upwards as much as you can open your hands, open your mouth if you want to, and then coming back from the center, drag the legs back in, 
in, here we go out, open, and drag the legs in, open, last one, and back in, and open, lovely, just to finish off with, bit of circles with the hands and in the other direction relax your shoulders you could do one at a time or you can do both nice and relaxed and the head so what we are going to do if you can hold on to your thighs as it were and we are just putting the shoulders down and we are taking the head to one side and center Try to incorporate the breathing. So we breathe in when we are in the center. We exhale when we go to the side. Breathing in through the center. Exhaling. Breathing in through the center. Exhaling. Breathing in through the center. And now we are going to put the ear towards one shoulder, as it were, and center to the other side and center to the other side and center last one and center now I'm funky chicken styly just really shaking everything great so now we are going to be doing a little bit of dancing now um, I've chosen different types of music as usual I've got some props Feel free to follow what I'm doing. If you feel inspired and you want to do something else, please do. Just be safe and ensure that if you are standing up, that obviously the space is clear and that you're not tripping. And, um, and yeah, just enjoy. So ensure that you're using all the parts of your body if you can and breathing. Breathing is essential. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's see. I hope you enjoy the selection. Here we go, the first one come in. Here we go, piano style and finger stretching and in and up and in and up and in and with the hands. and down and up let's do with the legs and that be faster use your abdominals Two and one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Opposite. Be faster. Here we go. And coming up. Down. Coming up. One arm. One arm and down and down and down and down and like if we are walking, opening up, and up, up, up. Up, windscreen again. And down. Up, down. And pushing away. And out. And center. 
reach, 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 reach faster. Fantastic. Well done. <laughs> well done. Let's go and do another one. And this time I'm going to use some props. Let's see. Here we go. Down. And center down center round the other way. That, 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 that. Really stretching to the sides. The other side. Be just for all those of you that like a bit of jazz. The other way, up, good, and center, down, really using the forearm, good. Leg, 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 and side. And around, and around, round, round, the other way. Let's do a couple more. So we are nice and balanced. <laughs> and shaking the arms up and down. Excellent. Really nice. OK, so the next one is going to, it has a, a kind of uh, slightly Middle Eastern feel. And is composed by a friend of mine called, called Guy Carter. Here we go. Here we go, and out, out. Hands up. Up. to the side and up 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 center center out in out in and up
Nice. Well done. Excellent. OK, so I'm going to use another prop and then we are going to have the cool down. So let's see how it goes. Different sound depth again. And up. And center. And down. And reach. With the legs and out. And we are going around the other side and up. And up. And up. Spread your arms and side. And and center and up could be a bit difficult to do at different times, or you can do both together. Change and reach, reach and flick. Flick, flick, and reach, reach, flick, 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 and flick, 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 and last one, and reach. And reach, and reach, and reach, and the other side, and reach, and reach, and reach, and reach, and up, 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 and side, and center, center, and up, up. And center, center, and down, down. And center, center, and up, up. And center, center. Here we go, and circle. Circle, 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 circle. And here we go up, going up, and center. And big arch, big arch, big arch, and arch. And open your legs and flick, 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 and flick, 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 and up. And the other side and flick. Here we go. And reaching out, out, out. Out, 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 out. Circle, 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 circle. The other side and up, 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 up. Here we go and up. Center. Going down and reach down, swing. Just let your upper body go. That's it. Here we go. And up, and up, and up. And up, 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 and up. Here we go. And flick, 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 and flick. And flick, 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 and flick. And flick, 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 and flick. And flick, flick, 
flick, flick and flick. And sights. Here we up. And centre. And down. Here we go and centre. And up. And centre. And low. And reach. 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 And bigger stretch. And centre. A bit of a shoulder action. Excellent. Really nice. Good, good movement. Right, so we are just going to do um, the cool down. And the first thing I would like you to do is just really kind of think again how you are sitting. Be nicely supported on the ground and reaching. And rest. And again, up. And, and up, and, and up, and, and up, and, and up. Keep going, like if you're spreading your wings. Bridge with the elbows. Holding them to the forearm. Put them up wherever is comfortable for you. And we are making a circle. Going up and around. Up and around. Just take it to whatever point is good for you. And around. Up and around. Up and around. Up and around. Center, reaching up and figure of eight here in the center, like where you started. Reaching one up, reaching up. The other, reaching up. One more each side. The other, reaching up and reach, 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 reach to the sides up and up. Use the sides of the body up. Coming through the center. It's like we are swimming upwards. Reverse. And thank you very much. As usual, if you can do the whole session in one go, you could do sections of it. Um, you can do as many times as you want in the week. Just be safe and enjoy and just enjoy the movement and try to, yeah, just really feel warm and loose in your body. Thank you very much and see you soon.